Hi, it is 9.45 in the morning. Today I'm going to do another test. Now this ARB fridge is the most power consuming item that I have in my camper. Now, I have already done a test on the um, home years, but I may or may upload this video first. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yesterday I did a test on with my upgraded solar on the Duralast. I believe I did a test on that. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly what videos I made. But I did upgrade my solar. I now have 300 watts going to the single battery, a 30 amp solar charger controller. Now, I have a little power station I made here. It is just my AGM battery. Now, the thing is, these solar charger controllers are only kicking in 12.5 volts. So it's saying not fully charged. If I took this battery, hooked it up over there to my large battery bank over there, it would charge up to 13 point something. Um, so I did get it above 12 volts. Now, this consumes more power than my chest freezer in the house. That is a basic fact. And you're probably going, well, how is that? It is a smaller thing. You're right. It is smaller. It has less insulation. It is nearly empty. I mean, the only thing I have in here are a couple ice trays and some water. Now, also understand, these things re really do not like modified sine wave inverters if you're using a power inverter. Anything with sensitive electronics in it really doesn't like modified sine wave. This is a pure sine wave inverter. So I'm going to see if it will run for five hours. Damn it, and I can't remember what time it was. Um, I did look just before I started this video. So, but a five hour test. I want to see if it will run this for five hours. So basically, I think around, uh, let's see, around 2, 2.30. I will come out here, see if this is frozen, semi-frozen, see if this actually has any power left. Hopefully it does because I actually got it to charge up to 100% now, uh, hooking up to uh, bypass with the solar here and output. I really don't want to go through that again. Let's turn this on. And we're going to set this for minus 3. It is not the lowest, but minus 3 is really good. Now, it does take a few minutes for the compressor to kick on. Now, remember, this has a 500 watt DC to AC power inverter. You can find all kinds of power stations like this. It's a 515 watt hour um with a 500 um, watt inverter so you can find all kinds of ones like this all online for less than 200 bucks this can run my chest freezer in the house up to nine i would say nine hours is cutting it close at the 10 hour mark it was dead it was messed up it did not charge correctly it did not read correctly so 10 hours pretty much kind of destroyed it <laughs> and it finally started working correctly so i figure eight to nine hours on a indoor chest freezer the thing is it has to be frozen already if you are trying to freeze something like this and keep it running like overnight it's going to disappoint you because it's not going to do it. Like I said, it takes a couple minutes for this to actually for the compressor to kick on. Um, I do have it plugged into the back here. Right there, it is set for normal. On the back, not low, not high, but normal. Let's see the power draw once this kicks. 
Now remember, I'm coming back out here around 2, 2, 2.15, something like that. To see what this reads, see if this is going to be froze. And if this can't carry for five hours, then, you know, if, you're, if your food is in here and it, it can't do five hours, then something's seriously wrong. But if it's already froze, yeah, it can probably do five hours easily. Because all they have to do is keep it froze. Now, you can see I have all kinds of stuff in here. I've just been messing around. Um, I did upgrade my solar. And I will show you that. Once I get a reading off this. Well, power is definitely on. There we go. And see, that's already in 99% just by kicking. See, this makes no sense whatsoever. If this can't run more than five hours, it makes no sense. Now, I understand in the house when I did my chest freezer video, my chest freezer was already froze. That is a huge mistake people make when they're buying something like this and something like this. They don't consider the cool down cycle. The cool down cycle is how long it takes for this to cool down to the temperature you have it set to. Now, this is like minus two, minus three degrees. That compressor is going to stay running a lot longer trying to get to minus two or minus three than if you set it for say 30 or 26. And the thing is my chest freezer in the house pulls around 45 watts at like two and a half three amps maybe four it tops but I did not use it for this for the cool down cycle on my chest freezer. Now I will show you once again. There is a little bit of ice left in here. Not much. Very small pieces from when I did my testing yesterday. I did it uh, on here. Um, let's get a temperature reading on, uh, not temperature, voltage reading on this since I'm already here. Um, uh, yeah, 12.68, uh, 12.66, I can't exactly, 12.68. So we have 12.68 volts in that battery down there. Now, I'm going to make this a pretty quick video. Um, I'm already at almost nine minutes. But I want you to see something. If you're going to use solar to run anything, especially something like this, off of any type of batteries, I don't care if it's AGM, lead acid, lithium, I don't give a damn what type of battery it is. You have to figure your solar for days like this or worse. And it has been raining. I don't know if you can tell the ground's wet. Um, also, uh, last night was a really long night. Uh, the midnight turd, my girlfriend's kitty, is missing. And we thought he may have ran off with Butthead. And, but Butthead's been coming to the door. So, you know, that we're worried about him. See, now this is going up in the 60s. This is much, much higher than the chest freezer that's in the house. I saw 70 watts. Given the fact 
this has to go through a cool down cycle 71 it draws a whole bunch of power just to cool this down so when you buy something like this or a power station to run something like this figure your cool down cycle into it you're looking at something that's running a figure 70 80 watts for at least three to six hours pretty much non-stop will this last it's already down to 98 percent will this last for five hours I don't know um, I've already done a couple tests on it and I actually can't remember the numbers because the last test I did on this literally was over two hours long with this and my other uh, power station over two hours long so I can't upload a video that long so I figured I'd redo it now this is down to 40 now once this hits temperature it won't have to run as much but 73 I th the highest I think I've seen is 78 this is already down to 98 percent what will happen if that's hit if that thing hits 50 percent and I'm still in here talking there's no way this is going to cool this down and run this there's no way all right let me show you what I did out front yesterday and I have to remember to get my wrench out of here and my zip ties are down in there I have to remember that I did upgrade the solar here I talk about that in the last video where I show my um, battery down here running this now I want you to understand having one battery is stupid we cannot afford another battery that's just the way it is right now but here's what I would do if I had to come out here and cool this down and run this I would hardwire these onto the little AGM battery then I would run it and clamp it on the post to make it two batteries that would definitely cool this down without destroying the batteries and with the solar coming in 300 watts that would definitely be enough to cool this down and keep it running all right it's been 13 minutes I'm going to go I will be back and like I said about five hours probably around two o'clock and see if this is actually still running or if it's dead um, if you want to wish our midnight kitty well and hopefully we can find him then please do so um, like I said butthead is still coming to the door three four times a day to eat so we know he didn't go off with butthead um, there are so many homeless people over here staying in the park I mean there are a bunch of tents up I noticed that earlier um, I don't know if you can see any of them from here but there's several tents up in the park we just hope one of those people didn't like get real hungry and like get to midnight I guess anything's possible if you're starving um, we're just hoping that you know didn't happen we're hoping if, if somebody picked him up or, or found him you know they'll take good care of him that's all we can hope or we you know maybe he'll come home uh, you know I don't know all right but anyway um, I'm fixing to go I will be back around two o'clock um, and see if this is still running all right bye okay I'm back I was gonna wait for five hours four or five hours um, two o'clock actually see not about two o'clock would have been four hours but it's actually been just over one hour and I wanted to come out here and check on things this says seven six degrees 
this is down to 87 percent now let's check and see what it's doing now I did a test off of this running off a of DC power only and it literally took like five to six hours off of this North Pole light to get this to where it really started to freeze ice so since I'm checking this on the AC part I wanted to keep a check on it now remember I do have the 12 volt wire wire straight to my battery that's why I'm using the inverter part it's already down to 87 percent in one hour let's check this all right it is starting to freeze up much much better than running it off the 12 volt the ice is starting to freeze that water uh, water looks good the inside is starting to freeze up so what I figured out with this North Pole light and probably my home years I will probably remake my home years video um, not on the 12 volt but off the 500 watt inverter like I'm doing with this one and see how well that one works so in one hour just over an hour it's been an hour and like 10 minutes we're down to 87 percent and it is starting to freeze now like I said off the 12 volt when I used it off 12 volt out of the cigarette lighter plug here it took like five to six hours to get to this point where it started freezing ice and one of the reasons being I believe was this this is the 12 volt plug off of the cable that came with my Zocop right these have a habit of not getting good contact working loose getting hot expanding pushing and and just not keeping good contact so it does use more power that way and it will take longer for whatever reason because I think it's just the contact that these have that's what I'm saying if you have one of these on your cable and if you can take this off remove it and hardwire it to your battery directly it gets much better contact now this says minus one already this is in an hour okay during my last test like I said it was five to six hours to get to this point running off the 12 volt plug here or the 12 volt port so in an hour it says minus one it's starting to freeze the ice up there's ice on the inside is this a good buy for you that's up to you um, each one of these ARB fridges uses about the same type of or current of the same power now I've seen that jump to 60 since I've been out here it's cooling down your cool down cycle is what eats your power on any battery if we're using one of these now remember this is not as thick of insulation as like a home chest freezer it will use more power especially during the cool down cycle but a home chest freezer takes much much longer to cool down but once it's cool once it's froze my advice if you possibly can is to use a solar system large enough to cool this down to freeze it now look at that the watch just now still using zero zero five watts probably just for the display and for this converting the power from AC to DC my advice if you can cool it down freeze it first before you plug into your power station that way you will have a much much longer run time this would probably run eight hours seven to eight hours is what I'm guessing if this had already been cold 
Now I dropped 86. Okay, I'm going to try not to make these super long videos because people can't get through my super long videos. And I already got the first part of this is like 10, 12, 13 minutes long. So, I will come out here in a few hours, check. Remember, this is at just after one hour. It's been an hour and like 10 minutes. So, I will come back out here probably around 3 and see if this is even still working. Alright, I will be back then. Bye. Okay, it is 2.45, so it's been 5 hours. I did start at 9.45. I double checked. And go out the door, dummy. Ugh. Bug in the window. We're down to 45% at 5 hours. Let's check this. It still says minus 1. Oh, wow. Now, I guarantee you that is frozen. That is frozen. Oh, this is definitely frozen. There's still some water in the bottom, as you can tell. But it has a good layer of ice on it. So, five hours is still going. But it's down to 45%. So that tells me it cannot run this for 10 hours at all. Um, eight hours, there's a good possibility of it running eight hours. And that is freezing it. But once again, if you want to save power, really have this frozen. Another trick you can use to get this to freeze faster and use less power You fill up every bit of space you can fill up with water bottles. Just keep it a little bit away from the edge. With a cardboard box. Something that can take up a lot of room in here. And that will help this freeze, freeze, freeze much quicker. See that's refrigerated over here. It's freezing over here. Alright, now... I did do a video already on my um, home years, but I believe I'm going to make another video and shorten that video down a little bit because it is still extremely long. But right now, 45%. You can see it is still pulling much more power than my chest freezer. So given that fact, this is going to have less time running this. Now, up here, this is actually charging as 13.1. So it is charging correctly because the sun is out. Like I say, it is um, 245. So that is five hours right here running this off of a power station now we have good news midnight is back but head found him so that's good news and he's seeing what I'm doing once again if you have anything with a 110 outlet AC it will work better than using this these things suck don't use this if you have to use DC voltage make sure it's hardwired onto your battery because if you don't you can get errors man that get out from there really um, make sure if you have to, have to use DC voltage it's hardwired up that way it doesn't come loose it gets a good connection so 44% now the thing about this is it read 27% uh, 27 or 37% in the house on my chest freezer 
and then it dumped to zero literally within an hour and it was dead so I'm not really relying on this too much but I think I could get at least a couple more hours out of it so I figure probably if it goes the way it's going now I would say eight hours would be good running off of this now that would get you through a night to hook up to something else but is eight hours going to be enough uh, I guess that depends on how many batteries you have down here to run whatever you're running All right, I'm fixing to go. Um, this is the end of this video. Unless, actually, I think I will come back out here one more time. And the eight hour mark. And see what it does. I don't want to make this video too super long. But like I said, I am going to remake my uh, home years video. Because it is very long. And I want to try to shorten it some. And we'll see what it does tomorrow um, I may plug it in sometime later tonight and see what it does see if it, it takes this through except for I want it to freeze so I really need to wait till tomorrow to see what I can get out of it that way I have time to charge this back up really what are you doing? Yes, this is your camper. Anyway, I'm glad. My girlfriend's glad. Midnight's back. Uh, like I said, Butthead found him. So, once again, is a power station worth it to you? That's up to you. Um, these little power stations are good in an emergency situation but yeah you're not going to run this full time off this power station for that you need something much larger much heavier with much more power like I said a couple dual cycle marine batteries would run this through the night easily but that definitely not because we're already at five hours and it's already down to 44 percent so, figure eight hours, maybe, you could get out of this North Pole light, or one like it. It is a 515 watt hour uh, machine. You can find a variety of these under different names. They're all the same machine. Um, 515 watt hour with a 500... Um, watt DC to AC power inverter built in a pure sine wave inverter okay I will be back probably in a couple more hours uh, if I come out here at 545 that'll make eight hours so I guess I will do that and see what the power level is and see if this is still going so I will see you back here at 545 bye Okay, we're back to check the freezer on the North Pole light. Is it still on? After eight hours, your guess is as good as mine. It is not. It's shut down. Eight hours is too much for this. So, let's see. Battery's completely dead. Alright, so let's see if it is thawing out, and that will determine how long ago it went out. Alright, there's still ice in here. So it was pretty close, I would say. Nothing's really melted yet. Alright. Can you get through eight hours on a North Pole light, or one like this? The reason I say one like this is because you can find these uh, literally anywhere 
on eBay, Amazon. One's just like this. They're extremely cheap. It would not run that for eight hours. Now that is with the cooldown cycle, but even so, eight hours is too much. Here's the back. All right, so we know eight hours is too much. Would this get you through a night running this? All right, here's the thing. It's possible. The reason I'm saying that, even though it did not last eight hours, you have to understand, I used it also for the cooldown cycle to get it to temperature. If this is already at temperature, it may have lasted eight hours. Now, it couldn't have been off that long because there's still ice everywhere, including on the sides. Let's take this water out. There is still some water in here, but there is a lot of ice in here, too. It's right about to there. I don't know if you can see that. All right, now I'm going to let this thing thaw out overnight. Let me move my ice trays because I don't want one. Did that fall in there? Okay, no. I don't want um, one ice tray falling into the other one. So, this is going to thaw out overnight. All this stuff will be completely melted by morning. And tomorrow morning, I will do another test with the home years. And I'm going to start it really early. So I can try to get eight hours in on the test. Is it worth something like this to have? That's up to you. It, it really is. Um, in an emergency, would it be good to have? If whatever you have runs under 500 watts or a 12 volt. Now remember, the 12 volt is only 10 amps max right and that's complete max so that's up to you it did not make eight hours but it was real close considering there's still ice everywhere and these ARB fridges without power will start the thaw out literally within a half hour I do believe that is ice. Yeah, that's ice. So, within a half hour, this will be thawed out pretty close. The ice will thaw out overnight. It may or may not all melt. You know, that's debatable. Um, I would figure seven and a half hours to be on the safe side. If you're having to cool it down as well as run it. That's what I would say. Seven and a half hours, no more, to rely on something like this. Now, this is completely dead. And I hope it will charge up to 100%. Because the last time I killed this thing, it only charged up to 99%. It will not charge above that. And I had to come out here and rig it up to this small um, solar panel, which I have on there right now. So, that absolutely may screw me up on this. Um, I want to test this right now, too. This is, literally, I have not had this on, basically, at all today. Let's see. 13.19 volts. Now, to be honest... If I had another battery in here, I definitely would plug it in to on the batteries to keep this froze overnight. But, you know, that's not going to happen. Um, I only have one battery. I do not want to kill that battery. Is the North Pole light worth the money? Or anyone like this? Like I said, you can buy these under different names. 
is it worth the money that's entirely up to you it really is if you have one you know two things that you have to have a, a grounded plug so socket for then no because you only have one right here does it charge USB yes uh, this I believe can charge through the PD 60 watt um, that's what the paperwork says but I don't think I have a, a fitting that'll fit that so I couldn't tell you anyway so I figure seven and a half hours before you have to kick this over to something else to be on the safe side especially if you're having to freeze it first off of this machine if, if it's already froze I guarantee it would have made eight to nine hours but it had to cool down had to freeze it that takes a lot of power so I figure seven and a half hours if you have to freeze your ARB fridge that's your total amount of time anything above you're risking your food don't risk your food tomorrow I will do a test now I've already done this test on my uh, home years but the video is much much longer so I'm going to redo the test tomorrow I'll start very early so we will see if the home years can make eight hours when this is thought out the first thing I'm gonna have to do is literally clean out the water out of the bottom because once this melts all the water's going down in this hole here so let me put some paper towels in there and see if that'll suck up the water because I don't want to have to clean a whole bunch tomorrow so anyway no eight hours if you're having to cool it down as well as run it absolutely not um, I expected more out of this but I mean that is pretty good if you need to save your food and your power goes out for a short time but if you have like a home chest freezer if you don't open it it's gonna stay good for eight hours anyway this will run my chest freezer for under 10 hours because last time I did that it screwed up the machine here so under 10 hours I figure nine hours to be on the safe side this won't even make eight seven and a half I would say is the tops and I'm guessing at that because at eight hours this was dead and shut off this was shut off All right, I'm fixing to go. Um, I hope this helps somebody out decide if they want something like this. For an emergency situation, sure, it's great. If your fridge or freezer is already froze or cold, there's not a big cool down cycle. If you could catch it when the lights go out and plug that in, it will last longer. The cool down cycle absolutely eats power. Alright, that's it. I'm fixing to go. I will be back doing another video on the home years tomorrow. And, you know, hopefully this helps somebody out. Alright, everyone have a good day or night. And, yeah, the solar is definitely not working. Um, that's it. Bye.